This septic tank installation video is a reference only. Always contact your local or state sanitarian regarding approved installation procedures. Refer to site selection and preparation located on our website for more information. The first step of the installation is to make sure all utilities are located before excavating. Remove the lid on the outside of the septic tank, then remove the gaskets, tees, and installation instructions. Review the installation instructions thoroughly before starting your installation. This video covers every step on the installation instructions included with your septic tank. If you do not have a hard copy of the installation instructions, you can find them on our website. The septic tank in this installation video is being installed in soil conditions that are flowable. Before installing our tank, refer to the Site Selection Preparation section of our website. This page includes important information on setting up sites with sloping terrain, adjacent structures, or paved surfaces. The installer in this installation chose to use 1.75% grade on one half away from the structure. Before digging, verify the length and width of your tank, then measure the excavation site to ensure that you create an excavation that is between 18 inches and 24 inches wider than the dimensions of the tank on all four sides. While excavating, you'll need to account for the following measurements. The height of the tank, 6 to 12 inches of bedding depending on the soil conditions, and a minimum of 6 inches of backfill up to a maximum of 36 inches of backfill on top of the tank. If any roots are present, they should be removed. Then rake the bed so the sand can be placed and the tank can be set on top of it. Place a minimum of 6 inches of sand in the excavation for bedding. If rock terrain is present, use a minimum of 12 inches of sand for the bedding. You can use native soil if it's flowable, compactable, rock-free material that can provide uniform support in the recessed rib areas. After measuring and filling in the sand bedding, make sure that it's level before setting the tank. Our septic tanks come with tie-downs on top to secure it during hauling. Lifting lugs on the bottom for easy lifting and a one-inch eyelet on top of the tank for lifting with a backhoe or forklift. Some models have two eyelets that can be used for lifting the tank. Set the tank in the middle of the excavation. Then push the tank back and forth to get the sand bedding to fill in the ribs on the bottom of the tank. You can also do this process by hand with a shovel. The next step is to level the tank within one half inch on all sides. It's very important to fill in the support columns with sand or flowable, compactable, rock-free material. Place 6 inches of sand in the support column, then compact it, then repeat those two steps until each support column is filled and compacted. After the support columns are filled and compacted, place the backfill around the outside of the tank in 12-inch layers. Then compact each layer before adding the next 12 inches of backfill. Repeat this process until you reach the bottom of the outlet of the tank. The next step is to place extra backfill underneath the area where the pipe will come out of the tank for support. Now we're ready to install the gaskets and tees. It's important to place grease on the gaskets and on the chamfered end of the pipe to help the pipe through the tank. Push the pipe through the pre-cut hole in the tank until it's underneath the manhole. This will allow for easy access to the sanitary tee when cleaning or servicing the tank. Repeat this process on the outlet side of the tank. Remove the ring inside of the sanitary tee so Schedule 40 pipe will properly fit into the sanitary tee. Apply primer, then glue the pipe to the sanitary tee. The next step is to place the sanitary tee around the pipe by pushing it all the way in, then giving the sanitary tee a quick quarter turn so it's straight up and down. For SDR35 applications, remove the ring inside the tee, prime and glue the ring, then place it back into the tee, then prime and glue the outside of the SDR35 pipe and insert it into the tee while giving it a quarter turn so the tee is facing straight up and down. For this installation, we chose to use an offset riser with a lid on the inlet side 
in a lid without a riser on the outlet side. Remove the screws from the riser. Although not required, most contractors use caulk around the inside edge of the gasket. Now, set it on the tank and fasten the screws. You can also use double wall pipe or ultra rib for the riser if needed. Place the other lid on the outlet side of the tank. Any 20 inch lid that will extend above grade needs to have tamper resistant screws. The last step of the tank installation is to place the remaining backfill over the tank in a manner that creates a mound that covers the entire excavation and slopes away from the tank on all sides.